Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And this is another of our LGBT travel influencer series uh, sponsored in part by IGLTA. And we're here and we're uh, uh, interviewing and meeting with various travel bloggers and video bloggers and so forth. But we're also kind of compiling a lot of their, their responses into a series of travel panels that, uh, that are gonna be used in conferences around the world. So we've uh, started this and now we're, today we're here with Sean from Manchester. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. And you're with uh, your, you and your your other half is the the Globetrotter guys. Yeah, so me and my husband Ben, uh, we run the Globetrotter guys, a gay travel blog. I love that. How did you get started in all this? So, well, it came around in 2018. Um, I mean, we've always had a passion for travel for for years. That that's an absolute given. And way back when, in 2011, we actually went away for nine months. And that's when we say we got the travel bug. But we always knew we had to go again at some point. Yeah. Um, and finally, in 2018, some point came again. Um, and we decided to book a one-way flight. And around that time, we started to notice all these travel blogs going on and a couple of them focusing on gay travel. And we thought, well, actually, th these are incredibly useful. You know, we are going on a one-way flight and going to travel to all these com uh, countries as a gay couple. Perhaps we can share our experiences and hopefully they're helpful for others. Um, so I, I learned all about how to develop a website, set that up, thought of a name, I like a bit of alliteration, so the Globetrotter guys. Um, and off we went and, and we just started to record our travels from the perspective of a gay couple and... It kind of grew pretty quickly. <laughs> I would say, yeah, I've been follow. I've I follow your posts uh, primarily on Twitter on our end, but um, um, even on the platforms, I see that you're you're not only on Twitter but you're on Instagram. And what are you, some of your top platforms that you uh, that you post to? So our, our key ones really um, are Instagram for like the day to day content, and definitely when it comes to visuals. Um, and then second to that, well, equal to that, I would say, is our website, because that's where all our you know, big content and gay travel guides lives. Um, and then naturally, we do use Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. But, you know, like many people, Instagram is our favorite when it comes to the socials. It's where your heart lies. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, would, um, I have some thoughts to, to add to the, the next question I want to ask, but um, I'll let you start first, which is just kind of what, what does uh, set you apart and make you a little different compared to other uh, influencers and bloggers out there? Well, I think that um, for, for us, we've, we've got a massive sense of adventure. And yeah. on one hand, we'd like to say that we're organized, but on the other, we just kind of like to turn up and see what happens. Um, and I think that's quite appealing when people are watching, you know, when it comes to Instagram and they're seeing our stories and what we get up to in these destinations. Um, and we try and always stay, stay curious and not just make it about us when we go to a destination, which is, is it's a nice and easy thing to do to make it about yourself. But, yeah. you know, when you go to certain destinations, you can see it through a tourist lens. Whereas actually, we like to get locals involved and interview locals and find out genuinely yeah. what is it like to be an LGBTQ person in your country, not through my rose-tinted glasses. <laughs> um, you know, because I want to share other people's stories as well, and as, as well as share our own, of course. But I think that's one of the things that seems to resonate well with people and that people like. Yeah. Um, else we, we just like to have a bit of fun with it as well <laughs> you know I think we all need a bit of positivity nowadays um, I can tell yeah no it really comes out and uh and what I was going to add is that uh it was it was really your uh, the article you guys both did on the Atlantis cruise um and it it's so poignant because so many people I think their first question if they have not been on one of those cruises they oftentimes see the imagery and the ads and they think oh is that really for me and you guys really kind of dove in and sh and brought to life a lot of the the, the diversity that is um, on an Atlantis cruise, and you brought and you brought that to life and made it a part of your article and the, the imagery that you used on social just kind of helped accentuate that. And I think that that was uh, I think that really set you guys apart in a very good, positive, and big way. Yeah, no, I mean that that's definitely one of my favorite blogs. I mean, we had so many 
fears and misconceptions about going on this big gay cruise and exactly like you say the the, the imagery and the marketing can be quite intimidating for want oh, yeah. of a better word um, and we were intimidated but going on it we had such a positive experience I was so excited to share um, you know all, all, all the things that had happened and how we felt and how yeah. how good it was um, to give other people the confidence to go because it is a truly liberating experience um, but just yeah, I mean, read, read the article. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a, I'll, 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 I will Google it, and I'll make sure it's also linked from wherever we post this. So uh, it's worth it's worth a good read. And uh, but now that it's you know, especially we're only a few days after the election here in the U.S., so it's a crazy year. And between all of that and the pandemic and quarantine, but how are you guys adapting and maybe even doing things differently? I mean, yeah, it's been a pretty quiet year. Uh, we, we, we have managed to get away a couple of times. Um, so back in August, we went to Croatia on a gay sailing trip that we do every year. Um, that was days before Croatia got taken off the travel corridor with the UK. So we were very, very lucky to go. Um, so we have been able to get away a little bit and still make new content. Um, but I mean... It has, it has been a, a difficult year. We've, we've, we've tried to expand the things that we do and the things that we talk about. We are primarily travel, yeah. but you know we've, we've tried to get a bit creative and talk about some amazing brands that we love that are focused on you know mainly a gay male clientele, whether it comes to clothing or looking at different Netflix shows and writing about them um, that have good yeah. LGBTQ rep representation. You know, trying to trying to give our audience something that that is going to interest them because i think we all need something to keep us going right now we do because i know we were just talking you were supposed to be here in new york uh for the proud experiences conference uh yeah. and and then of course wtm was going to be just uh, uh this month as well and uh yeah. all these things we've had to adapt and uh and hope 2021 will allow us to bring them back and iglta in milan yes. as well we, we, yes. we would have been there this year but that was a big was one. That was a big one. So hopefully, hopefully, even though it's in a different location, we actually, I know that they're planning to go back to, uh, to Italy, to Milan, uh, hopefully 2022. It's just, they've got all these plans for it, but in the meantime, it'll be in Atlanta next year. So hopefully you and others are able to, uh, come to, uh, hot Atlanta in order to be able yeah. to all get together again. We'll, we'll, we'll be there all, all being well. I mean, fingers crossed, who knows, but we will be there as long as we can Thank fly. You. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much for being here with us and sharing a few moments of your time. And uh, I look forward to being able to connect with you soon in the real world. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I look forward to meeting face to face one day. You need to meet more people face to face. It's everything's virtual right now. Fantastic. Well, thanks again. Great seeing you here. Yes, you too. Thank you, Matt. See you now.